valid currency string right so guys in this question we are given with a string uh, which have uh, like three character uh, first one can it can be a left parenthesis or right parenthesis or it can be a star right so a uh, star can be treated as a empty string or a left parenthesis or a right parenthesis right okay so what we need to do is we need to check whether or not given string is a valid parenthesis or not or i should say a balanced uh, parenthesis or not right okay so uh, let's just take a first example so as you guys can see here this left parenthesis this left parenthesis will balance this one right so it is a valid parenthesis okay now if we'll take the second example so if if we treat this star as an empty string as an empty string then this string uh, this whole string will become this and this parenthesis will balance this one right so this is also a valid parenthesis string now come to the next example see if we treat this star as a left parenthesis then this string will become uh, like this so this will balance this and this will balance this so yes this string is also a valid parenthesis string fine now uh, see see this example if we treat this as a left parenthesis then our string will become like this if we treat this as a right parenthesis then it will become like this if we treat it as a empty string it should be this right if we treat it as a empty string then our string will become like this in all these three cases in all these three cases none of the string none of the string is balanced right so so we can say we can say this is not a valid parenthesis string fine so this is what our question is right so now thing is how we can solve this problem right to solve this problem we will use stack right we will use stack okay now let's just take one more uh, test case uh, let's take the test case like this see okay this one then star then right parenthesis okay let me also mark the index this one 0 1 2 3 4 so let's say this is our test case right and we need to figure out whether or not this string this 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 string is a valid parenthesis string or not fine so what we will do what we will do we will create two stacks right so this is our stack one and this is our uh, this is our stack two fine okay so what we will store in our stack s1 we will store the index index of left parenthesis right and what we will store uh, in our stack s2 we will store index of star okay now the algorithm works like this whenever whenever we get whenever we get a opening or a left parenthesis we will add it its index into stack s1 and whenever we got a star then we will uh, add its index in stack s2 now the thing is what we will do if we got a right parenthesis so in case of right parenthesis we will check if uh, s1 is not empty then we will pop a uh, first element of our stack s1 right if s2 is not empty then we will pop second element of our stack s2 if both of them are empty then in this case we should return false then we can say that our string is a uh, not valid parenthesis string right what i mean to say is this is our step one first of all this is our step one and what i'm trying to say is see uh let's say we are at index zero so since it is a opening or a left parenthesis so we'll add a zero here right now i'll come to the next uh, element so it is a left parenthesis so we'll add its index here 
it is also a left parenthesis so we'll add its index here now see it is a star so we'll add its index here so now see this is a right parenthesis right so what we will do we will try to balance this right parenthesis first with our left parenthesis and if left parenthesis is not available then we will try to balance it with right parenthesis oh sorry uh, star right so since since uh, s1 is not empty s1 is not empty so we will pop one element one element from uh, our stack s1 and we will balance this uh, right parenthesis with this uh, left parenthesis right now now we will come to the next index now we will come to the next index so we will come to this see this is this is again a right parenthesis right so since s1 is not empty so we'll again pop one element from stack and try to balance it with it okay so we have balanced uh, uh, this right parenthesis with uh, this left parenthesis right okay now since we have uh, used all the elements of our uh, string now now let's just take uh, let's just suppose there are some more although they are not there but let's just suppose there are three more uh, three more right parentheses are also there right uh, let's say they are at six seven eight. although they are not there but for understanding let's say they are three more uh, right parentheses are there so in this case what what you should do you will balance you will balance this uh, this uh, right parentheses with this one right since s1 is not empty so you will balance this with this right so we'll pop this zero let me write zero here so we'll pop zero from there and balance it now we'll come to the next uh, next element so again it is a opening oh, sorry a, a right parenthesis so we'll balance with this star right since it is empty so we'll try to balance with this star so we'll balance this with this so how you'll balance with this you will make our your star a left parenthesis right so you don't you don't do anything but okay you don't do anything for understanding i am saying right now since this is also popped see there is one more element left right there is one more element left and it is a it is a right parenthesis right it is a right parenthesis and size of both the stacks is empty right you cannot balance it further so in this case in this case you should return return false and say this complete this complete string is not valid because there is one closing parenthesis left which we can't balance further right so but but our test case is not this for understanding i just show you so our test case was this right so now uh, make stack again so here it was zero here it was three right so first step is clear right first step is clear you need to uh, add the indexes of left parenthesis and star and in case of right parenthesis you you have to you need to try it try you need to try it to balance right okay by popping uh, popping element from stack s1 first then if it is not if it is null then if it is empty then you will try to you should try to balance it with star and if star uh, are also not there like if the size of both the stack are zero then in this case you should return false right now second step first step is this now second step what we will do we will balance uh, this stars with this uh, opening braces right we have checked all the strings and there are no uh, right parenthesis left now we'll try to balance this left parenthesis with stars right see guys see let's say this is a string right a star then a left parenthesis right so is this is this a valid string no it's not a valid string why see you can make a star a empty string, a, 
a left parenthesis or a right parenthesis right so in all these three cases in all these three cases you cannot balance this star with this right but if uh, if left parenthesis was there in the left side and star was there and star was there then there is a one case by which you can balance you can make this star you can make this star as a right parenthesis right so if you make this a right parenthesis then yes this yes you can balance uh, your string right so yeah this you should uh, need to know now why i told you this see now the time is to balance left parenthesis with stars right so what we will do see what we will do until size of until size of both the stack is not empty while size of s1 is not empty while s1 is not empty and s2 is not empty we will do this thing right what we will do we will pop one element from our stars or s2 right so we will pop this so we have 3 see can 3 balance 0 see what the 3 means here is we have a star we have a star at index uh, at index 3 right what this 0 here means we have a left parenthesis we have a left parenthesis at index at index 0 right see left parenthesis is here at index 0 and right parenthesis is somewhere here in right side right so yes we can balance it right yes we can balance it so in this case in this case you should you should pop this one also right you will balance this but let's suppose let's suppose uh, let's suppose uh, there are the index which is present in index number or oh, sorry in stack s1 was 5 and the index present at stack s2 was 0 right or 3 right so in this case right in this case you cannot balance this star with this bracket why why i am saying this see 0 1 2 3 4 5 star is there and left parenthesis was there you cannot balance it with this right you cannot balance it with this so in this case in this case you should uh, pop only this but if s2 is less greater than s1 then pop then you can balance it then you should pop both this right but for our case uh, our stack was like this 0 and 3 so we will pop this we will balance this with this okay now this was our second step and our question is now solved see size what is the size of s1 now the size of s1 is the size of s1 is 0 right our s1 is empty so if our s1 is empty if s1 dot is empty is true then we will return true else we will return false now why i am checking only s1 why i am not checking s1 and s2 both see it can be possible that we have balanced all the left parentheses and still some indexes was there what was what this indexes represent here is there are star present at index number 2 and index number 3 which are not balanced yet but what you can make it what you can do is you can make these stars you can make these star as a empty strings right as an empty strings and finally you can say that these are balanced by making the them are empty string right so we don't need to check for s2 to check whether or not our string is a valid parenthesis string or not right we just need to check uh, the size of s1 at the end that whether or not it is empty or not so checking whether or not our uh, string is a valid parenthesis or not right so that's it right that's it that is how you can solve this problem so now let me show the code of this problem right okay so code is here code is here so see it is a functional problem so here we, we are getting is we are getting our string s 
and now what we are doing is we are making the uh, string into a character array right now what we are doing is we are making two stack s1 and s2 both are of integer type right both are, both will store integer value right and what are the uh, these integers this integer our nothing in the case of s1 it was the index of it will be the index of left parenthesis and in the case of s2 it will be the index of star right in the case of s2 it will be the index of star so now this is our step one and this is our step two so in step one what we are doing is see we uh, let's say we will store the character in ith position of this string in c correct uh, in variable c now if c is a left parenthesis if c is a left parenthesis then what we will do we will push the index of this left parenthesis in stack s1 right and if c is star then we will push the index of s2 in we'll put the index of this star in stack s2 right now if uh, this is a right parenthesis right if this is a right parenthesis then what we will do we will first try it to balance with a left parenthesis right and where we are having the left parenthesis we are having the index of left parenthesis in stack s1 so if s1 is not empty that means there are some left parenthesis left which is not yet balanced so what we will do we will pop first element or the peak element of our stack right so we will balance it but if in case s1 is empty right there is no left parenthesis left so then what we will do we will try to balance with stars right so if s2 is not empty then we will try to balance it with star by popping element from our uh, stack s2 right but let's suppose both are not there right both the size of both the stack are zero then we can say we should return false and we should say that this is not a valid parenthesis string right now this is our step one right now we'll come to our step two okay so what was our step two in our step two what we will do we will try to balance our stars with left parenthesis right so until until size of both the stacks are not empty then what we will do we will pop element from stack s2 so now we will check if index of star is index of this is index of star is greater than uh, index of left parenthesis this is the index of left parenthesis right if it is true then what we will do we will we should balance it with left parenthesis otherwise we should treat this star as an empty string right this is what we are doing in this while loop so after coming from this while loop uh, we have our stack s1 and s2 so if size if s1 is empty if s1 is empty then we should return true otherwise we should return false that's it right that's it that's it how, that is how we can solve this problem so this is the code of this problem hope you guys understood this problem thank you so much for watching